Well, you guys continued to, uh, you know, to play. Uh, you guys were in the Jay and Silent Bob Strikes Back movie. And I guess you, you called yourself the original seven at one point? That was when we uh, got together and decided as, as the time that we were going to do a record. Uh, Terry and Jimmy wanted to do a record. And, uh, of course, Prince said, no, you can't use the name. So <laughs> we uh, had Prince, to... Wait, hold on, hold on. Prince really <laughs> had a problem with you guys using the name that far later? You know what? This dude is, was such a control freak that um, I thought that, you know, because I renamed the group. It used to be The Time. When I started touring, I changed it to Morris Day in The Time. I thought... I said, wow, I've been doing, you know, doing this for years now. And I said, I haven't had any problems with Prince. I was like, you know, the dude, you know, he's finally coming around. You know, he's not trying to squash me. But then I later found out that legally I can't use the time to record, but he can't stop me from using the time as a touring name. So legally there was nothing he could do. So I, I just wonder if he might have tried to uh, shut me down because he wasn't letting us use that name um, for the record. Were you around him when he changed his name to the, the symbol? A couple times. I mean, I wasn't around, but I saw him a few times. And okay. I, I told him, I said, I don't know what to call you. <laughs> what did he say? He said, just, he said, don't call me. He said, don't call me anything. Just, you know, just don't call me Prince. Yeah. yeah. I already had a problem with people actually calling him Prince at yeah, that time. Yeah. Okay. So you guys continued to tour and, uh, well, you dropped a new album, uh, in 2011, uh, Condensate? Yeah. How did that one do? Uh, that record didn't do well at all. Um, it was sort of doomed in its own way uh, out of the box because we weren't able to use our signature name, The Time. So we had to be creative. Uh, the original seven, you could look at it like the original seven members, the original seven letters, The Time. Um, but it didn't catch on, uh, partly um, because I don't think we had a good business plan. We tried to do everything internally. Uh, Terry Lewis is a very, very smart guy, but he also, you know, kind of wants to do a lot. And so he was kind of being our music uh, rep, you know, and the liais liaison between us and the label and everything, which I think we really needed somebody to handle all of that for us and have a, a plan in place before the record came out. And we were just kind of handling things as they happened instead of having a solid plan in advance. Well, leading up to 2016, were you in contact with Prince at all? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, this dude, uh, he, he stayed in touch with me. Like I said, the most obscure moments of the day, the phone would ring and, uh, you know, or else he'd come to a show or else we'd go to his show. He called uh, Jerome and I to do Coachella with him one year. Uh, we, we were, uh, you know, we, and, you know, you know, we did musicology with him. Uh, Coachella, we went on unannounced and did The Bird and Jungle Love. And so, you know, through the years, he would keep in touch. Were you guys still close or just... It, a gig, it, and then it, that's it. No, it's funny because, you know, I mean, you know how you can be apart from somebody and you'd be like, oh, he's fucked up, you know? And then you see people, and, and, and a lot of times that animosity just goes away and you're, you're happy to see them. It was always that kind of thing uh, where, you know, we, we might not talk for a year or a few years or whatever, but it seemed like every time, you know, we crossed each other's paths, it was genuine. 